three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. That's how long I've been gone. I was actually going to come back after two weeks. I was doing my little vacation, my, my January vacation, but I was having such a good time not covering this game and instead doing some self-improvement exercises, some, some male, I guess, self-therapy, self-love. I wasn't... Beep, beep. I wasn't doing that. Not, not that kind of self-love. Uh, the, the mental kind. But I decided I'd take another week off because I was just enjoying not covering this game. You see, I, I covered this game from October 28th until December 31st. Every single day. Even the few days I didn't post videos. I was covering it in some way. I was doing something behind the scenes related to this awful awful game three weeks three weeks I have been gone and I come back and do you know what's changed do you know what's different let me tell you what's different nothing nothing that's what's changed I may as well go away for three years nothing is going to change in this game Three months, three years, 3,000 devs? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Warzone 2 as well. You know what? I'm not being completely truthful. There have been some changes. You want to know the changes? The player counts. The player counts have dipped astronomically low. We don't know the numbers. We don't get the hard data. Charlie Intel on Twitter said this we've heard from multiple people that warzone 2's player count dropped over the break at a higher rate than expected unclear what it all means for what will change at this point hope we get some good updates soon then modern warzone my buddy doug says higher rate than expected is a very nice way to put this and an understatement hmm so you mean those graphs i've been showing you guys on steam that the cod dick riders will be like well it's just steam it don't mean nothing man more 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 those people those people that will ignore hard data you're telling me that i was right what 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 you telling me when i'm showing you the subreddit numbers dipping so quickly after launch that there is a correlation there and i am right i demand some apologies i have seen people on the modern warfare call of duty subreddit whichever one pick pick whichever one pick a year and pick one just that they they hate my guts they say that, that blame truth he's so negative i can't stand him i can't stand his videos don't like it don't play it a certain uh, fella named hutch told me to do don't like it don't play it well guess what i don't like it i'm not playing it and so are a lot of other people you got what you wished for hey the game is dying and that's not conjecture that's not hyperbole that's not me pulling numbers out of my beautiful bottom no 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 that's fact that is fact. Look at this chart. Took a screenshot the other day. Was it looking for any specific time? I'm sure it's gone up and down from this point, but it's, it's it was out of the top 10 on Steam. 78,000 players. 78,000 players with a clear downtrend in the graph. Look at that. I'm not making it up. And this, again, I want to reiterate here, this isn't just Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2. This isn't just Warzone 2. This is both games and DMZ and Campaign and Spec Ops. Everything this game's done. 78,000 players with just declining players over and over. And guess what else, guys? Guess what else? We got to wait two extra weeks. This season, I, I missed nothing in the past three weeks. Nothing. This season is, it's... It's like Chinese water torture. I'm bored. I am bored. I am bored. I am bored. Bored, 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 bored. I have no reason to ever touch this game again. I got some people I can pull gameplay from. Mr. Glutes can't play Black Ops 2 because the Virgin Admins banned him because he's too good. <laughs> it's like it reminds me of back in the day I used to I used to join these World at War servers and they'd be like, "Oh, uh, you're not crouching, bro. You're not crouching." And I'm like, "You didn't label this as a crouching server." 
And also, who the hell does that? Who wants to play like they got a load of shit in their pants, waddling around the map like some old Vietnam vet with bad knees? Get the hell out of here. I, I'm getting sidetracked here. I got people supplying me gameplay. I don't need to ever play this game again. Do you honestly think I would go anywhere near this game during my three-week hiatus? No. No, I'm not I'm not crazy. I'm on vacation. This is the last thing I want to be doing. I, I you know what I did most of my vacation? Truly, outside of the 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 mail like help stuff is I played a lot of Skyrim. In fact, if this video goes beyond this gameplay, this isn't my gameplay. But if it goes beyond this gameplay time limit, which I'm sure it will, I'm just going to post some Skyrim I recorded off of my PC. Just thank you Nvidia Shadowplay for just always being there, saving the last 15 minutes of Whatever it is I'm doing, I appreciate it, but anyway. Back to Call of Duty here, uh, Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, whatever. The new season, if I wasn't super clear earlier, the new season has been delayed until February 15th. Why? I don't know. They, I think they're doing some kind of quality of life update for Warzone 2 because They've gone with the data and the data shows that the player numbers are dropping and yada yada yada. I can sit here and and give you a million reasons why. I can give you a million reasons why Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is failing. I can give you a million reasons why Warzone 2 is failing. But all of these reasons lead back to one harsh reality. One uncomfortable truth, if you will. And that is that the games are not fun. There's a myriad of reasons why that is. Crashes, skill-based matchmaking, poor progression, lack of things to do in-game, bad maps, bad just balance in general, a poor man's perk system, can't play while running, etc., etc. I can go on and on. All these, all these issues, right? The fact of the matter is, is the game's not fun. I know games with some issues. Let's go back to Skyrim. That game's still buggy and glitchy and kind of goofy. <laughs> it is. It's a Bethesda game. Come on. Yet, it's still one of the greatest games I've ever played. I'm still playing it. 11 years running. Do you want to know why? Let me tell you why. Because it's fun. It's made by devs that cared. The, the, their first... Like, the first thought... Across those devs' mind, every single dev responsible for the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the first thing that crossed their mind making that game, and the first thing that crossed the mind of, of the, the modders, the modding community keeping the game alive, doing it for free, is, is this fun? Is what I'm making going to make a fun game? And after they test it out, they're like, was that fun? Th that's the, the main thing. The new games are not fun. They may as well be made by AI. And now we have to wait two weeks because the data is showing them what we were telling them! For months! No! No! For years! We've been saying for years, skill-based matchmaking is terrible. It's bad. And there are all these, you know, dick writers that say, Oh, but they've done internal testing and they, they have AI and algorithms that show that it helps with player retention. Clearly it doesn't. They blamed Vanguard's poor performance and poor everything on the fact that it was from World War II. No! It doesn't matter! Yeah, they might matter a little bit what time period the game takes place in. But what actually matters is, is the game fun? <laughs> the game was unstable, glitchy, buggy, it crashed constantly. Same thing here. And people will, will point to the fact that this game sold well. But if you sell a game and it sells well, but nobody plays it, is it actually a success? That just means you're good at marketing. That just it means you're good at, like, selling your product to morons. Me included, I bought the stupid game. I kind of had to, but I'm in that boat as well. But that's what gaming has become. It's just trying to sell you something and then promise you something better the next time to sell you another game. It's an endless cycle. 
you know, I, I've kind of lied, admittedly. There, there have been some changes with Modern Warfare 2. I haven't really gone over these in depth, but I saw about a half dozen blueprints that just weren't changed. There's a wooden handle. It's like they're, they're messing up the blueprints now. That's how little they care. This has got to be some kind of experiment. Look at this. This isn't the only one they've done this with. They just stopped trying with the blueprints. They're already cancer. It's already bad enough that the only reward you get with this game, the only like dopamine you get is by purchasing something, essentially, with your real life money. But the fact that they're taking that away even, it's no wonder the game's dying. But yeah, I don't consider it a success if you just manage to sell a product that the majority of people that purchase said product don't like. That's not a success. That means you're a swindler. That means you're a good salesman. Doesn't mean you're a good video game publishing studio. Doesn't mean you're a good dev team. <laughs> it just does not. Like, I don't know what to tell you with that other than it, it, the game's not good. I tried to tell you. People were hyped up. People got let down. When will you learn? When are you going to start listening to me? A guy that has nothing to earn from telling you that the game sucks or is good. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I've done that for the past 15 years. I've never been invited out to an Activision event. I've never been offered a creator code. I have never been offered anything from Activision other than they've taken a few videos down because I said something they didn't like. That's about it. But I've never been offered any kind of money. Anyway, I, I want to talk about some brain chemistry here to end this video. And this this is actually relative to why the games are bad, by the way. This is this relates. Trust me. Bear with me. Uh, I, I heard some doctor and also Andrew Huberman talk about this, but uh, your brain tries to keep a baseline, right? Like if you if you have too much dopamine and like you're too happy, you're, that's almost a form of stress. It's kind of why. We have so many options and so much stuff at our leisure. Like we, we live in a very comfortable place in America now, but we're more depressed than ever. We're sadder than ever. We're having so many mental health problems, more so than ever. And it's because the brain's not used to, when things are too good, it's, it's bad. Your brain's going to try to like counteract that by making you feel like shit. It's a weird thing. I, I'm not even making any of this up. You can, you can look all this stuff up. It is factual. It's science, unfortunately. But at the same time, if you're bombarding yourself with negativity and like challenges and whatnot and things that make your life hard, stress, it's also really bad for you. You can't go too far in either direction. You can't have it too easy. You can't have it too difficult. Your brain will try to make up the difference in one way or another. And that's the kind of key. You're going in both directions. Like you need, you need comfort. And you need struggle, you need to coexist with both of these things, or you're gonna have a bad time. The problem with Call of Duty is the comfort only really comes when you're spending real life money. And there's always struggle because of skill based matchmaking. And me, me right now, I can go and play the game. I've been playing Cold War occasionally with a friend of mine. I can go and play the game and not reverse boost and like it's just not very fun because it's nothing but struggle with no reward there's no counterbalance there right i can reverse boost and beat up on noobs but it's the same shit it's the same thing it is it's the exact same thing it's just a different form of that and it, both methods suck I don't want either of those things. I don't want endless manufactured struggle from an algorithm. I don't want to cheat the system and beat up on noobs. That's boring. I just want Call of Duty the way it was before with organic, interesting, fun matchmaking where I had a different experience every single lobby. I could stay in a lobby. I could talk to people. I could meet new people. I could meet people that sometimes were good, sometimes were even better than me and party up with them and play some games. Now, it's, it's not like that. On top of the games being unfinished, glitchy, lacking content, and just missing the point. There's no X factor there that makes the games fun anymore. There's no X factor. There's no devs that are, are making the game that know how to make a fun game or know what makes a fun game. The entire goal is to nickel and dime you to death. Maybe get you addicted. Your mental health be damned. It's kind of like when you're at a casino. <laughs> Uh, that's, how they get, that's how they started with loot boxes, actually. It was literally a casino in the game. But anyway, guys. Uh, I don't know. 
I, I guess I'm done. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. I want to suplex Joe Sekot through the Shrine of Payright. Peace out.